Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn about bitwise operators in JavaScript and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. We have already learned about all the other operators and today we will learn about bitwise operators. So in JavaScript and also in other programming languages we have some bitwise operators that work on the binary representation of the numbers and here we have a bitwise and which is represented by the ampersand sign we have bitwise or represented by the pipe symbol similarly we have x or also called as exclusive or now do not worry if you are not getting it right now i will explain about this in a moment and then we have bitwise not we have bitwise left shift and bitwise right shift so in javascript uh, these bitwise operators work on the binary format or the binary representation of the numbers so if i go to google and search for binary representation of numbers or binary representation of decimal numbers you can see this is the decimal numbers here and here we have their binary format and we have these bits 0 and 1 you can go to this link and i will just show you here as well and i will also make all these links available in the notes or description of this video so if i see this and you can see here we have all these decimal numbers and their binary representation so here let us take an example if i say a equals 1 if i look at the binary format of 1 it is equals to 0001 i can also show you a calculator to convert so i will say decimal to binary calculator so that it is very easy for you to follow and i will also search for a binary to decimal calculator so here you can see we have a decimal to binary calculator i can give any decimal number here and say convert and i am getting the binary form here and it is useful to add it to a total of four digits so if there is nothing on the right hand side i can just add zero so it is zero 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 one and if i take b equals to the binary format is zero zero one zero now when i say a and b and i use the bitwise and operator here it will make 1 and 0 as 0, 0 and 1 as 0, 0 and 0 also 0 and 1 and 1 as 1. So here it is something similar to what we have seen in logical and like true and false becomes false, false and true becomes false and true and true becomes true. So 1 and 1 will become 1 and any other combination of uh, 0 and 0, 0 and 1 or 1 and 0 will all become to zero so this is how the logical uh, bitwise and works this is bitwise and so here i will start from left we have one and zero it becomes zero we have zero and one becomes zero zero and zero becomes zero and zero zero again becomes zero so finally we have got the binary format zero 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 and the decimal will again be zero so if i go to the binary to decimal converter here if I say 0000 and convert it is again coming to 0 also I can show you this in JavaScript I will go to my Visual Studio code and here I will go to operator.js file that we have created earlier and the last time we looked at the type operators so I'm just going to comment this out I will press control and forward slash or command and forward slash on Mac and here I will say console.log I will just add a separator here and I will say this is for bitwise operators and here if I say let a equals 1 and let b equals 2 and then I will say a and b and to print it out i will say console.log and just print out the calculation of a and b so this is logical and if i now run my code and check the output so here you can see it is giving me the answer as zero now here if i use logical uh, sorry bitwise or operator so here you can see i am saying a or b now here whenever we have one 
even a single uh, bit is one it will be one so when i say zero and one it becomes one again zero and one becomes one zero zero will still remain zero and zero zero remains zero so we have got zero zero one one if i convert it to decimal so i will say this is zero zero one one if i do conversion i get three let me also check it here if i say console dot log i will say a and bitwise or b and save this and run this so i should be getting three in the output so here you can see i am getting three here and the same thing you can see i am getting three here so this was bitwise and so and sets each bit to one if both bits are one we have already seen this for bitwise or it sets each bit to one even if one of the two bits is one then we have exclusive or we here it sets each bit to one if only one of the two bits is one for example if i say here if i say here suppose i have a uh, three and five and the logical the binary representation of three will be let me just go here and check if i say three and say convert it is one one so i will take here one one and for five the binary representation will be one zero one so i will take this as 101 and i'll just add a zero here to make it four digits now here when we say exclusive or if i say three and xor or exclusive or five in this case it is saying each bit converts to one only if one of the two bits is one so only if one of the two bits is one it will be one otherwise not so here you can see we have one and one so this will be zero because it needs only one as one bit as one so one zero becomes one zero one again becomes one and then zero zero again becomes zero so we have got zero zero one one if i just check what is the decimal of this zero zero one one it comes to be six let me just check it out here as well i will say i can just print out directly i will say console dot log and i will say three and use exclusive or and five and i'll run this to check the output so here you can see we are getting six so that is how we use the exclusive or then we have not it inverts all the bits so here suppose i take five again here it will invert means one becomes zero and zero becomes one now one thing you have to take care here is uh, this not is also a unary operator unary operator means it works with a single operand for example i just have to say here not of five so i do not need any other operand and in this case earlier we were okay with four bits but here because it will be changing zero to one i should be having at least eight bits so i will just add four zeros again here so that it total becomes a total of eight digits and now i will convert so here 0 becomes 1 0 becomes 1 again so we i should be having these five ones here and then 1 becomes 0 so i will be having 0 then 0 becomes 1 and 1 again becomes 0 so this is what i should be getting and if i convert it to decimal if i just convert to decimal i am getting minus 6 here so if i check this here i will say console dot log and i will say not of five i should be getting the result as minus six if i run this and if i see i am getting the result as minus six so this was bitwise not it just inverts a bit we have then left shift and right shift operator so here let us see what does this mean if i see the left shift it shifts the uh, bits to left and then in the empty spaces it fills with zero let us take an example if i say five left shift by one so here if i see the binary representation of five it is zero one zero one and here we have four places now it will shift to all the bits by one to the left so this one goes to here this zero and one so it has shifted one to left and whatever space is left zero takes its place so it is filled with zero so i have got 1010 which is equivalent to decimal digit 10 so if i see 1010 
and convert it to number decimal I am getting 10 so this is how left shift works and similarly in the right shift we will shift to right and then we will convert it to the decimal so this was about the bitwise operators in javascript i hope this was very useful and now you have got some good understanding on how bitwise operators work and i will meet you in the next session of javascript thank you for watching